dear students i hope you are all well and studying in your home last week we discussed about some physical properties of metals and non metals today we will discuss about the chemical properties of metals and non metals so reaction with oxygen first we see how they react with oxygen you are familiar with the phenomenon of rusting of iron recall the reaction by which rust is formed you had also performed in class 7th an activity of burning a magnesium ribbon in here i hope you will be remember it you had learned that in both the processes oxide formation takes place complete the following reaction of iron and magnesium with oxygen okay because you already uh, read about it so you have to complete it okay iron plus oxygen plus water what it will be formed there okay in the place of question mark as magnesium react with oxygen what it will be formed you have to write here so for this we have to do an activity let us check the nature of rust formed as a result of the reaction between iron oxygen and water collect a spoonful of rust and dissolve it in a very little amount of water you will find that the rust remains suspended in water shake the suspension well test the solution with red and blue litmus paper okay figure also given there what do you observe in the solution acidic or basic okay you can see here when you uh, uh collect a spoonful of rust okay and dissolves in the water okay and when it suspenses in water okay rust suspension is there and when you check it it red litmus paper you have to see its color okay so how its nature you have will be find that okay if you do this activity you will be found that solution will be acidic in nature now pehli thinking that does copper also get rusted i have seen a greenish deposit on the surface of copper vessels okay if uh, copper vessels are found in your home or if you see this type of uh, deposit okay greenish deposit so you also wonder it about when a copper vessel is exposed to moist air for long it acquires a dull green coating the green material is a mixture of copper hydroxide and copper carbonate and uh, the following is the reaction okay this is the reaction when it, this is the example of moist air okay h2o plus co2 plus o2 so it forms a coating of copper hydroxide now recall the activity of burning magnesium ribbon the ash obtained on burning magnesium ribbon is dissolved in water and tested for its acidic or basic nature in the solution is the solution acidic or basic how do you assertion this you must have observed that the red litmus blue so oxide of magnesium is also basic in nature so its oxide is basic in nature in general metallic oxide okay whatever metallic oxide are basic in nature so you can see here also in first activity 4.3 this is not acidic this is basic in nature okay because it forms the ferric oxide there so after this activity you can conclude that oxides of metal are basic in nature now we do this activity with non metals okay so take a small amount of powder sulfur in a deflagrating uh, grating spoon and heat it in deflagrating spoon is not available you may take a metallic cap of any bottle and wrap a metallic wire around it and give it the shape shown in 
figure 4.4 so you can see here okay this type of structure you have to make you can make it easily now what you have to do as soon as the sulfur start burning introduce the spoon into a jar glass tumbler okay cover the tumbler with a lid to ensure that the gas produced does not escape remove the spoon after some time add a small quantity of water into the tumbler and quickly replace the lid shake the tumbler well check the solution with red and blue litmus papers so you can see this activity the name of the product formed in the reaction of sulfur and oxygen is sulfur dioxide gas okay the activity which we do sulfur dioxide gas will be produced there when sulfur dioxide is dissolved in water sulfurous acid is formed the reaction can be given as follows okay sulfur dioxide react with water and it will formed sulfurous acid the sulfurous acid turns blue litmus paper red generally oxides of non metals are acidic in nature so you easily identify by this process that oxides of non metal are acidic in nature recall the name of some of the laboratory acids and bases you have read in class 7th note down their names in table 4.4 okay so you have to go back to the your class 7th okay and uh, now you can in class 8 usually uh, you can understand that uh, what are the metals and non metals their name you can identify so note down their name in table 4.4 identify the metal or non metal present in them which forms oxide with oxygen okay you can you have to write their name at least five name there so name of base you have to write and you have to here write name of acid okay you can write sodium hydroxide metal is sodium like that okay and hydrochloric acid uh, and what uh, are the non metal are present there okay chlorine you can write it here like that you have to do this okay if you not understand or difficult you can say to me now we uh, see the reaction with water let us see how metals and non metals react with water sodium metal is very reactive it reacts vigorously with oxygen and water a lot of heat is generated in the reaction it is therefore stored in kerosene okay so often this question asked in exams that why sodium is kept in kerosene okay so this is the reason so first you have to do an activity to be demonstrated by teacher during demonstration special care should be taken that the size of the sodium metal piece is roughly the size of wheat grain it should be held with a pair of tongs okay because it is very vigorous react so you don't do this activity in your home take a 250 ml beaker or glass tumbler fill half of it with water now carefully cut a small piece of sodium metal Try it using filter paper and wrap it in a small piece of cotton. Put the sodium piece wrapped in cotton into the beaker. Observe carefully. Okay. During observation, keep away from the beaker. When the action stops, touch the beaker. What do you feel? Has the beaker become hot? Test the solution with the red and blue litmus papers. Is the solution acidic or basic? Okay. So this is the i uh, it is a very uh, easy process okay but you do do not do this in your home because it is very vigorous reaction you observe that what will be conclusion uh, found there that sodium react vigorously with water some other metals do not okay for example iron react with water slowly generally non metals do not react with water through though they may be very reactive in air Okay, such non-metals are stored in water. For example, phosphorus is a very reactive non-metal. It catches fire is if exposed to air. To prevent the contact of phosphorus with air, atmospheric oxygen it is stored in water. So, what will be conclusion is there that non-metals are very reactive in 
air and very uh, slowly reactive in water so now you try to read about the reaction with acids and read one time again and try to understand whatever we read today and activities if you find any confusion you can ask me okay and fill this table if you have any confusion you can ask any time thank you